Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. We are going to do a video for the sign of a Libra. Messages for Libra, God, Universe, Angels, Spirit, Gods, and Ancestors. What messages do we have for the Libras? Messages for the Libra people. What messages do we have for the Libra people? Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Swords. Some type of anxiety here about an opportunity from the past or opportunity of something new. I feel like for, for most cases, it's a past connection for somebody that's trying to take charge, but they took a very long time to finally bring the balance in. And they have anxiety because of how long it took them. First card out is the Chariot. Could be dealing with a Cancer. Six of Wands, Nine of Cups, the Queen of Swords. Could be dealing with it. Well, you are air sign, okay? So I feel like you you're trying to move forward, be victorious when it comes to something that fulfills your wishes. But I do feel like it's somebody from the past. It could be new for some of you, but for a lot, I feel like it's past energy. Somebody that you finally learn to find the balance with, or you finally want to find the balance with. Sometimes love. Okay, somebody that you might have knocked down with love or they knocked you down with love. But nonetheless, you want to move past whatever it was. You want to, I feel like things are, everything's, something's, I feel like there's some type of confession here. High Priestess reverse to the Ace of Swords. You, you're going to be confessing or somebody's confessing to you. But it's some some type of healing. It's the, that's the purpose for healing to take place here because somebody's been mentally conflicted. And the burdens are going down and they're realizing, damn, I don't want to miss out. Tell me about this high priestess reverse for Libra. Somebody was defensive. Yeah, defensive, not listening to their intuition. Trying to do what they want to do. Look very defensive. Combative. Boom. Now the tower hit. Now they want to go into common waters. Why is the tower here? the tower woke him up a little bit like hey you know two of cups and look some messages came in when it came to this connection telling you ain't shit but a burden to put it down or telling you, hey, put the burdens down and move towards this connection. This is what you need to be doing. Stop avoiding it. Take it where you fit, okay? Ace of Swords. Receive. That's when you somebody received the clarity after not, you know, avoiding listening to their intuition. Hang man, the right up a reverse. Now you gain a new perspective. Now you find a new way of seeing things. Now Ace of Wands, you wanna you got some type of new bright idea of this the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Hmm. Okay, so somebody's able to see that they were selfish, they were self centered, they was caring about nobody but themselves. Now they're trying to brush spark it up again. Like, oh shit, that's not how I wanted it to be. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, nope, that's not how I wanted it to be. That's not how I wanted it to be. Yeah, somebody was selfish to the emperor. Or the emperor was selfish to you. But I'm going to say that if she was selfish to the emperor. Because it's a queen right there. And now you want to offer the love. Now you saying, wait. That love right there that you was trying to offer me. It really makes me emotionally fulfilled. Can I still have it? Or better yet, let me offer it back to you. Whether you the emperor or the empress. Let's take it where you're at. Okay? See, because I feel like at one point somebody was holding back. Or holding on tight to something else. And then, boom. The tower hit. Forced them to reflect. And guess what? Not only that. Be, they become more emotionally mature. Ready to take charge. So, for some of you, it is the emperor. Somebody could be dealing with a Leo. But which fulfillment is at stake here? Do you want it or do you not? And that's what it all boils down to. Okay? And that's what it was. It, it was somebody wants to be victorious here with the Six of Wands energy. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Knight of Cups reverse. See, look, they want to be victorious. 
because they've been suppressing their emotions with the Knight of Cups reverse. They've been having them but not saying them. But see, now some things has changed because they want to just take a leap of faith here. When it comes to this connection, why? Because the love is too deep to hide anymore. Because they're feeling left out in the cold because they can't hold back. They just want to offer something small as long as it's love. Okay, yeah, they was guarded. Yeah, they sabotaged. But now they want to reconcile. That's how they feeling. They don't want to sabotage no more. They don't want to suppress their emotions anymore. They just want to jump, leap, and just see. Let it be what it's going to be. Something about the full energy. Yeah, look. There's that new perspective coming in with the Page of Swords. And then, then the person's like, well, it's all about balance now. Let's bring in this new energy. Let's reconcile. Let's fix this. Let's start this. Let's be an equal give and take. But for the most of you, I feel like it's balanced. Somebody wants to balance it. After the, the other person realizes, look, well, I'm better off on my own anyway. Now this person like, well, let me make a decision to put the work in because I was mentally conflicted in the first place. I want to manifest with you. I don't want to miss out on an opportunity with you. And Libra, this could be you or it could be somebody when it comes to you. Okay? So that's what it is. Let's start it over. Let's bring in new energy. Why? Because you are my wish fulfillment. Right? Nine of Cups. The death card. Somebody can be dealing with a Scorpio. And that's why the trans that's why the transformation is necessary. Because it's not just any old love. This is it's no ordinary love. It's no ordinary love. You see what I'm saying? And while this person may have been trapped in their mind, focusing on the wrong shit and being egotistical because their heart got bruised, focusing on the wrong shit. I feel like they've been through a major transformation. Okay? Whereas they got to follow their intuition. And I feel like maybe they didn't in the past with the high, high priestess reverse, but I bet you they will be now. Because what they want to do is, even though they're not sure, they want to transform the situation. Whereas I was focused on the past, well, now I want to focus on you. And I know I caused a lot of hurt with my ego because I was trapped in my mind, but I want to take charge of the future and fix it. Because you make me happy and I've been made aware. I've grown up. You see what I'm saying? And I'm still holding on to this connection because I don't want to see it go away. Five of Cups. Yeah, see, in the past, this person was in and out to you, possibly treating you like an option, causing so much confusion in your life, forcing you to be done with them because you're not knowing what's going on but feeling left out in the cold, forcing you to get defensive and stand your ground. Talking about the death card. Seven of Swords. Yeah, you couldn't trust this person. Why is the death card here? Or they couldn't trust you. Take it where you at now. Okay. Somebody could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer here. But right here. Some, let's see all, the, all that mysteriousness and unknown. All that love you got. You want to transform because of all the love you got. You want to build with somebody because all the love you got. Because the love is unconditional. Because all that garden has got you feeling left out in the cold. And now you just want to offer anything. Something small. Something solid. Could be dealing with the king of pentacles. Could be dealing with a Leo. But somebody was mentally conflicted. And now they're trying to be strong and stand in their power. And reveal that they care for you. They're trying to provide you with clarity. This is you trying to provide somebody else with the clarity that they need. To understand how much you truly care. Even though you've been suppressing it. Or maybe you wasn't able to see it because you didn't know that kind of feeling. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. Yeah. So Queen of Swords, for some of you, you want you want to heal with somebody. Or somebody wants to heal with you. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, right? But you don't want to miss out on the opportunity to have something solid, something structured, something end-all, be-all, something that could last forever. And this person don't want to miss out on the, to have that, that same thing with you if it's them, right? So I feel like you're going to be receiving messages or you're going to be sending messages about how you want to manifest. How you want to stand in your power, be strong, and do the right thing because it's the right thing to do. You don't want to miss out, Four of Cups. You know, somebody's saying, I don't want to miss out because I chose to hold back how I truly feel. Because I was trying to suppress my emotions. Because I was afraid. I don't want you to walk away because of that. I don't want to lose you because of that. So I'm coming to give you something solid. 
this is just not any offer. This takes a, a little time to prepare so I can be so it can be just right. Okay. What about the temperance card? The king of wands. Look to the lover. Somebody could be dealing with a fire sign. Could be a Gemini. Yeah. But regardless of the fact, divine masculine. Or somebody's taking charge in the leadership role when it comes to this union. Offering a small gesture of love. Why? Because they sabotaged it with their fears, with their ego, with whatever it is that they caused. Why? Because they want to put the work in and manifest in it because they're in their power now. They're standing strong now. This could be a king of pentacles again. Okay? Because they want to do the right thing now. They're moving differently now. They, they've been through some healing. They've been through some changing and they want to bring in some new energy. Okay? Or this is you, Libra. Okay, so that's what I got for you, Libra, and thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see you guys in the next video. Namaste.